Hey everyone, here's how to make a soft warp transition in Premiere Pro. As always, Sapphire is required, and thank you so much to my monthly Ko-Fi supporters. So, let's get started. First of all, prepare your clips, mine are here, and then search for S underscore warp puddle and drag it onto your first clip. Now, you want to keyframe the amplitude at the start and set it to zero. Then you can change the frequency to something like one or two, depending on your preference, but I'm going to leave it at one. Head between your two clips and then one frame back, then set the amplitude to 0.03 just like that. Now because it's too stiff we need to graph it so open up your graph by clicking on this arrow, click on your first keyframe and pull this handle all the way to the right but pay attention to the velocity and ensure it's at zero. It should not be a negative value like negative 0.1 it should be zero so if I just move it up like that. I know it's a bit tricky but you will get used to it and your graph should turn out looking like this. What you also want to do is change the rail height to one and the phase speed to 4. So that's our first clip done. Now we're going to repeat this with the second one. So add on warp puddle once again, keyframe the amplitude at the start, I'm going to set it back to 0 0.3, sorry 0 0.03, and then a frequency of 1. I think 2 also looks pretty good, but I'm going to go for 1 I think. We'll see how it turns out and experiment a bit. Anyways, for the rail height, 1. And if you want to, you can leave the phase speed if you would like to, but I'm going to go 2 I think. Head all the way to the end, 1 frame back, and set it to zero. When I say it, I'm referring to the amplitude. And then after that, you can graph it as well. Make sure your playhead is one frame back from the last keyframe so that we can use the velocity as reference when graphing. So I'm going to pull this all the way to the left and also push it slightly up, but it can't be a positive value. Unlike last time where we couldn't have it as a negative value, this time we can't have it as a positive value. As close as it can be to zero, I'm going to let go and that does seem fine, but as we scrub through, you can see our value, our amplitude value, it drops to a negative, which should not happen because our first keyframe is 0 0.03 and then our last one is zero. So it shouldn't be a negative, meaning we need to just push this down a little more maybe like that and it may not look perfect but that is entirely fine once you do play it back it's going to look smooth anyway as long as you pay attention to your velocity and ensure that it does not dip or go above a specific value so for us it would be zero and this is the result now if you think that this looks a bit too quick what you can do is decrease the phase speed so i'm going to go two so that's going to half the speed and it's going to look like this a little more delicate than before so thank you for watching peace